Hi students, welcome back. Now let's go through the remaining portions of the chapter. So coming to our next topic, natural environment. Land, water, air, plants and animals comprise the natural environment. You are familiar with the meaning of lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere from your previous class. Let us learn some more facts about these domains. We have discussed about land, water, air, plants, isn't it? The sole comprise of the natural environment. We know that the sole comprise of the natural environment. So last year we have learned about lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere, isn't it? Now let's discuss it in detail. Lithosphere is the solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth. It is made up of rocks and minerals and covered by a thin layer of soil. It is an irregular surface with the various landforms such as mountains, plateaus, plains, valleys, etc. Landforms are found over the continents and also on the ocean flows. Lithosphere is the domain that provides us for us grasslands for grazing, land for agriculture and human settlements. It is also a source of mineral wealth. So lithosphere it is a solid crust or the hard top layer of earth. It is made of rocks and minerals. It is covered by a thin layer of soil. It is an irregular surface with various landforms such as mountains, plateaus, plains, valleys, etc. These landforms are present in continents as well as in ocean flows. It is the domain that provides forest, grasslands, lands, etc. Grasslands for grazing, land for agriculture and human settlements. So the question is, Give a brief explanation of lithosphere or briefly explain lithosphere. So I repeat it once again. The question is give a brief explanation of lithosphere or briefly explain lithosphere. So once again I will tell the answer okay. So the answer is we can split it into points. So it will be easy for you people to understand and it will help you to remember the definition easily. Okay, so we can split uh, the first sentence itself into three points. Okay, so uh, while you are studying you can write down these points. Uh, there are five points for this answer. You can write down these five points and uh, it will be easy for you to remember. Okay, so let me tell the answer. Yes, the first point is, listen carefully, okay, the first point is, it is a solid crust or the hard top layer of earth. So, this is the first point. What is lithosphere? Lithosphere is a solid crust or the hard top layer of earth. Got it? Yes. The second point is, it is made of rocks and minerals. So, the second point is, Lithosphere is made of rocks and minerals. Got it? Okay. Coming to the third point. It is covered by a thin layer of soil. It is covered by a thin layer of soil. So, the first sentence itself, we have converted it into three points. It's, isn't it? Yes. We have converted the first sentence into three points. Okay. So, study like this. It will help you to remember the definition. Okay. So, here we get three points. Now, coming to the fourth point. It is an irregular surface with the landforms such as mountains, plateaus, plains, valleys, etc. Okay. So, this is the fourth point. Coming to the fifth point. It is the domain that provides Forests for forests, grasslands, lands, etc. So the fifth point is it is the domain that provides forests, grasslands, lands, etc. So in this point itself we can add that the grassland are for 
grazing and the land is for agriculture and human settlement. Okay. Are you confused with the fifth point? No. Okay. So the fifth point is it is the domain that provides for us grasslands for grazing, land for agriculture and a human settlement. Along with this also you can add one more point that is the it is the source of mineral wealth. Isn't it? So with the five points we can answer to the question. Briefly explain lithosphere. Okay. I will tell the answer once again. First point, it is a solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth. Second point, it is made of rocks and minerals. Third point, it is covered by a thin layer of soil. Fourth point, it is an irregular surface with various landforms such as mountains, plateaus, plains, valleys, etc. Fifth point, it is the domain that provides for us grasslands for grazing, land for agriculture and human settlements. And along with that we can add it is the source of mineral wealth. Okay. So in figure 1.2 they have shown the domains of environment. Isn't it? So now we are discussing about lithosphere. Have you seen where the lithosphere is there in the picture? Yes. It's in the lithosphere we are constructing roads, buildings, etc. Isn't it? So, as we have discussed it itself, the lithosphere gives us the forest, grasslands, land for agriculture and all. Isn't it? So, in the diagram we are seeing lithosphere and we have understood about lithosphere. Isn't it? So, we can answer to the question now. Yes. The domain of water is referred to as hydrosphere. It comprises various sources of water and different types of water bodies like rivers, lakes, seas, oceans, etc. It is essential for all living organisms. So, here comes another question. Briefly explain about hydrosphere. So, same as that of lithosphere, we can cut these sentences into different points. So, it will help us to study this very easily. Okay. So, the first point is... The domain of water is referred to as hydrosphere. So the first point is the domain of water is referred to as hydrosphere. Second point, it comprises of various sources of water and different types of water bodies like rivers, lakes, seas, ocean, etc. So it comprises of various sources of water and different types of water bodies. We can write these water bodies by ourselves, isn't it? There is nothing to buy hard in this. By looking into our surroundings itself, we can write this answer, isn't it? So, it comprises of various sources of water and different types of water bodies. Okay. The third point is, it is essential for all living organisms. We know that water is essential for living organisms, isn't it? So, that's the third point. It is essential for all living organisms. Is this easy? Yes. Just to write down these three points, it's easy, isn't it? Okay. Now look at that figure, figure 1.2, domains of the environment. We can see hydrosphere in that figure, isn't it? Yes, this is the water body. So, this is the hydrosphere. Sources of water and different types of water bodies are in hydrosphere, isn't it? So, this is hydrosphere. Only three points are there and it's very easy to study. Okay. The atmosphere is the thin layer of air that surrounds the earth. The gravitational force of the earth holds the atmosphere around it. It protects us from the harmful rays and scorching heat of the sun. It consists of a number of gases, dust and water vapor. The changes in atmosphere produce changes in the weather and climate. So, in this portion we are studying what do you mean by atmosphere or a brief explanation of atmosphere atmosphere is the thin layer of air that surrounds the earth do you know why this layer of air is surrounding earth yes it's because of the gravitational fold it holds the atmosphere around the earth this atmosphere protect earth from the harmful rays and heat it consists of a number of gases dust and water vapor because of the change in atmosphere, weather and climate gets changed. 
So again another question is here, what is atmosphere? The answer is there are four points for this answer. Okay, the first point is atmosphere is the thin layer of air that surrounds earth. So the first point is atmosphere is the thin layer of air that surrounds the earth. Okay, then next one is the about the gravitational fold. It holds the atmosphere around the earth. So the second point is the gravitational fold holds the atmosphere around the earth. Third one, this atmosphere protects the earth from harmful rays and heat. It's the third point. Fourth one, it consists of a number of gases, dust and water vapor. So these are the four points for the answer. What is atmosphere? Okay. Now coming to the figure, we can see atmosphere. Figure 1.2 domains of the environment. On the topmost portion, you can see atmosphere. Okay, this is the atmosphere. Plant and animal kingdom together make biosphere of the living world. It is a narrow zone of the earth where land, water and air interact with each other to support life. So the next one is biosphere. Plant and animal kingdom together or the living world make the biosphere. It is a narrow zone of the earth where land, water and air interact with each other to support life. So here the question is what is biosphere? The first po point is plant and animal kingdom together make biosphere. Second point, it is a narrow zone of earth where land, water and air interact with each other to support life. So there are only two points. So, so far we have learned about lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. Okay, that means land, water and air. We have studied about these three things. Isn't it? So all these three things will interact with each other. All these three things will interact with each other for the support of life. So, this is known as biosphere. So, coming to the diagram, in this diagram also we can see that figure 1.2 domains of the environment here. First, we have learned about lithosphere, that's the land. Next one, hydrosphere, water and the atmosphere, air. All these three are joined together to form Biosphere. So the bio, biosphere consists of land, water and air. Okay. So students, we will discuss the remaining portion of the chapter in next video. All of you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification of next video. See you soon. Thank you.